Hi there, and thank you for tuning in. Back in December uh, 19, I made this video about how to change the brush size. If you have the issue that you're sitting with a non-US keyboard, you may have seen some of these experts on Photoshop that use the square bracket buttons here uh, a lot on a US keyboard to change the, the brush size. But that is unfortunately not uh, possible on my keyboard. And I think many others have the same issue if you, you're working on a non-US keyboard. So in this video, I actually showed you how you can use your, your mouse to change the, the brush size using the Alt key and the mouse, and how to transfer that to uh, the Wacom pen, uh, so that when you push this button and hold down the Alt key, then you can, in combination, change the brush size and the softness of uh, the brush. I was so lucky that Open C, I hope I'm saying your name right, I will, I will put it in, in the video, of course, wrote me and said, you can actually do it even smarter. You can do it without the keyboard. So you can actually set it up so that when you hit this button, it will actually both simulate hitting the Alt key and right clicking your mouse. Let me show how to set that up. So if we start the Intuos software or the Wacom software, uh, the first thing you need to make sure is that you select the right application. In the beginning, I had <laughs> selected all other, and that meant that the configuration I tried to do didn't work in Workshop. No wonder. You have to do it, of course, for the application that's relevant for you. Up here, you have tablet, pen, mapping, on-screen controls, and if you select pen, you see a little image of your pen appears. And what I did in the first video was that I programmed the bottom button here so that when I clicked on that one, it would, would simulate a right click. And that worked fine as long as you also held the Alt key down on the keyboard. If instead you use this called Modifier, you find it under Keyboard as an option called Modifier. And if you take that one, you can see here that you can select both a key and a click. So if you select Alt Left and right click and OK, then actually it will simulate that you both hit the Alt key and right click, which is exactly what we're after here to make it work without the keyboard. I trust that wasn't too complicated. So thank you again to OpenC for giving me this tip. So if you're watching this channel, have some tips, please share them and then I can help spread the word with videos like this. As always, take care. Bye bye.